हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नौकी प्रोपोजिशन प्रूव या तो एक बार टाइप फंक्शन स्मूथ फंक्शन फी सेट्स फाइंड दिस प्रॉपर्टी गामा डॉट ऑफ यस इट इस ए यूनिट वेक्टर इसी कोल्ड टू कॉस फी एस कॉमा साइन फी एस फॉर ऑल एस एन अल्फा बीटा एंड फाइ ऑफ यस नॉट इस इक्वल टू फी नॉट Given any s not, you can find a phi not such that the modulus of s not is equal to cos phi not sine phi not because the function cos phi comma sine phi or cos theta comma sine theta that is going to be uh, a bijection from the unit circle to the to a certain interval. Of length two pi. So proof. Proof. So assume that uh, gamma dot of s. That is equal to. I want to show that it is equal to cos phi comma sine phi. So assume that it is uh, f of s comma p of s, g of s. I have to show f of s is precisely cos phi of s and uh, g of s is precisely sine phi of s for some smooth function phi. Since gamma is unit speed. Gamma is unit speed. Gamma dot of yes norm is equal to one. That means f of s square plus g of s square that is equal to one for all s. In alpha beta. Now I am going to define my phi of uh, my phi, the required function, in a clever way. So phi of s define this to be is equal to phi naught plus integral s naught to s. F G dot minus G F dot D T. Since f and g are smooth, why f and g are smooth? Because gamma is a smooth function, so gamma dot is smooth. That means f and g are smooth. Since f and g are smooth, uh, f into g. G dot minus g into f dot is also smooth. F into g dot minus g into f dot that is also smooth. Now, when you perform integration, smoothness increases by fundamental theorem of calculus, and therefore integral of this also smooth. That means phi is also smooth. But what is uh, What is phi by fundamental theorem of calculus? It is precisely the value of the integrand at the upper limit. Phi dot, phi dot is value of the integrand at the upper limit. So 
So phi dot is smooth. This is also smooth. Phi dot is smooth means phi is smooth. This implies phi is also smooth. Because when you perform integration, smoothness increases. Now I am going to define two functions, capital F and capital G. Capital F is small f cos phi plus g sin phi. And capital G is f sin phi minus g cos phi. All right. Let us compute f dot. What is f dot? It is small f dot cos phi minus f sin phi into phi dot. Plus g dot sine phi plus g cos phi into phi dot. Sorry, phi not. It's not phi not. It is phi dot. Phi dot. So that is equal to let us combine cosine and sine terms and write this as this is equal to uh, f dot plus g first and last terms. So f dot plus g phi dot into cos phi plus second and Third terms g dot minus f phi dot f phi dot times sine phi. All right. Now we will look at f dot plus g phi dot. We will look at f dot plus g phi dot. The first. Uh, Quantity in, in this uh, in this bracket, f dot plus g phi dot is equal to now f dot plus g phi dot is equal to recall what is phi dot? Phi dot was um, what is phi dot? f g dot minus g f dot f g dot minus g f dot so what is g f dot g f dot is going to be g f g dot Minus g square f dot. This is equal to okay. So now let us compute uh, f dot plus g f dot. That is equal to f dot plus g f. G dot minus G square F dot, which is equal to from the first and last terms, it is one minus G square into F dot plus G F G dot. But what is one minus G square? What is one minus G square? One minus g square from this equation, 
1 minus g square is f square
cos phi naught comma sin phi naught and uh, gamma dot of s is f of s comma g of s so gamma dot of s naught is f of s naught comma g of s naught so f of s naught is cos phi naught and g of s naught is sin phi naught so this is cos phi naught into cosine of phi of s naught is phi naught plus this is g of s naught is sin phi naught into sin phi at s naught is phi naught so this is cos square phi naught plus sin square phi naught that is equal to what okay but f is an identically constant function and its value at one point is 1 so f must be identically equal to 1 thus f is identically equal to 1 similarly look at g at s naught G at s naught is what is G? Yes, G at s naught is f at s naught sine phi at s naught minus G at s naught cos phi at s naught. Okay, so f at s naught sine phi at s naught minus G at s naught. cosine phi at s naught am i right yes g at s naught cosine phi at s naught so this is equal to f at s naught is uh, cos phi naught cos phi naught and uh, this is sin phi at s naught is phi not minus g at s not is sin phi not this is cosine phi at s not is phi not so this is equal to zero but g is identically a constant function and its value at one point is equal to zero therefore thus g is also identically equal to zero okay So let us substitute for uh, f and g. So this is uh, equal to one for all s, and this is equal to zero for all s. Okay. So I am getting two equations in two unknowns. What are the unknowns here? It is f and g. I want to determine my f and g, so you have to solve these two equations. So multiply the first equation by let us say uh, sine phi and the second equation by cos phi, and then you subtract. You will get uh, the first two terms cancel, and in the second you will get uh, g cos phi sine phi. Plus g sine phi cos phi equal to in the right side you will get sine phi. You are multiplying the first equation by sine phi, right? So this implies um, g into sine square phi. Plus, you are multiplying first equation by uh, sine phi, second equation by cos phi, and then subtracting. So there is a plus here. G into uh, here multiplying by cos phi will yield cos square phi equal to in the right side you will get sine phi. This implies that. G is identically equal to, or G is equal to sine phi. 
g equal to sin phi. Similarly, solve for f, you will get g, sorry f, not g, f is equal to cos phi, f is equal to cos phi. And this is what I want, right? What I want? I want a gamma dot equal to i f of s g of s and we have determined f and g. So, therefore, gamma dot of s is equal to therefore gamma dot of s is equal to what is f cos phi of s sin phi of s sin phi of s for all s in for all s for all s in alpha beta Now, uh, this is existence, now uniqueness, uniqueness of phi. So, suppose there exists another function psi such that with the same properties psi from alpha beta to R such that psi at S naught equal to my initial value phi naught and gamma dot of S equal to cosine psi of S comma sin phi of s not phi psi right so I have gamma dot is expressed like this as well as like this in the top so that means this cosine psi s is equal to cosine phi s and the sine psi s is equal to sine phi s. This means that what psi s minus phi s this implies psi s minus phi s that is a multiple of 2 pi. Let us say 2 pi into an integer n, but depending on s, right, for all s. For some integer valued function, integer valued function, n s. But my phi is smooth. Similarly, in the assumption to prove uniqueness, I have to assume that this psi is also smooth. Which I forgot to mention. So both uh, phi and psi are smooth, that means their difference is smooth, that means n is smooth. Since uh, P and psi are smooth, so is n, n of s. Smooth functions are continuous, therefore n of s is also continuous, therefore n of s is continuous. 
now you apply intermediate value theorem for continuous function so what is intermediate value theorem a continuous function assumes all the intermediate values in between any two different values of that function so if n of s is not a constant function if n of s is not a constant function then what will happen n of s1 is different from n of s0 for some s1 n of s1 is an integer n of s0 is an integer therefore the continuous function n of s this continuous function n of s must assume every intermediate value in between the integers n of s0 and n of s0 is it possible no because n of s is an integer valued function so it cannot assume all the possible values in between any two integers because any two in between any two integers there are lots many real numbers which are not integers so this is not possible therefore n of s must be a constant function by intermediate value theorem intermediate value theorem n of s is a constant function here the argument you have to write properly i have not uh, written the argument but i have told the argument once n of s is a constant function the immediate question is which constant which constant so to know that the only way is uh, we know the values of these two functions at the point s not so therefore let us evaluate this expression at the point s not so what you will get let us go to on the page psi of s not minus phi of s not minus phi of s not is equal to to pi into n at s not but uh, psi at s not is phi not minus phi at s not is again phi not so this is equal to zero this implies that n of s not must be equal to zero but n is a constant function so this means that n of s is identically equal to 1 for all s uh, sorry not 1 zero for all s and therefore psi of s minus phi of s is uh, 2 pi into 0 it is 0 for all s this means that psi of s is equal to phi of s for all s so this is precisely uniqueness so we have proved the existence and uniqueness of phi thank you